As the mercury rises and the days grow longer, the natural world buzzes to life with activity. Among the most industrious of its inhabitants are bees, those tireless pollinators whose dance from flower to flower is a spectacle of summer. But there's a lesser known side to this pastoral idyll. In the heat, nectar can ferment, leading to some rather inebriated insects. Fermentation Frenzy Nectar, the sweet fluid produced by flowers, is composed primarily of sugars and water. It's the perfect energy drink for bees, providing them with the sustenance needed to power their flight and work. However, when temperatures soar, the conditions become ripe for yeast to thrive. These microscopic fungi feast on the sugars, converting them into alcohol through fermentation. Tipsy troubles. The result? A potent potable that can leave bees disoriented and, for lack of a better term, drunk. Observers have noted bees exhibiting uncoordinated flying, stumbling on the ground, and even falling asleep on the spot. It's a state of affairs that the hive takes seriously. No entry for the inebriated bees are social creatures, and the hive operates on a strict code of conduct. Guard bees, stationed at the entrance, are tasked with the critical role of protecting their home from threats. This includes keeping out bees that have overindulged. These tipsy foragers are turned away, sometimes aggressively, to prevent them from bringing fermented nectar back to the hive, which could potentially harm the rest of the colony, sobering up. Fortunately, bees metabolize alcohol quickly, and those that are denied entry typically sober up soon after. Once they've regained their composure, they're allowed back into the hive to resume their duties. A delicate balance. This phenomenon highlights the delicate balance within ecosystems and the surprising ways in which animals adapt to their environments. For bees, it's a reminder that even nature's bounty has its limits, and moderation is key. A lesson that perhaps resonates beyond the hive. 